swap between the presets and I'm going to use this uh, really centered, this is less than half a dB uh, graphic just to demonstrate something. Okay, quick explainer of the graph. The red line is the right and the green line is the left and the grey area is the pull to the left or the right. So in this case, just the base area on the screen at the moment, the red is higher than the green. So it's going to sound like it's coming further to the right than the left. So this is an example here and the scale is on the left. So the thicker white horizontals are 1 dB. So in this case, it's only moving one, two, three, and a bit dB to the right. Um, and in other instances, it'll be more, and in some instances, it'll be less. So that's just a quick explainer of this graph. And the fact that I tilt the camera sideways is to help you imagine the left to right pull. And also don't forget that in the final outcome, when we're looking at our stage height, all that information is super compressed in a vertical sense into one slice. So on with the show. I'm listening to the best possible tune with the best center, then I switch to my second best tune, I get that much difference, I switch back, I hear it dead, dead in the middle, then I switch to ear to ear, around the ear average measurements, and I get a 6 dB or more um, fat center. And then I switch back to my good tune and it's all back in the middle. Laser focus. Then I switch to my Alpine All Cabin. You get about a three, three and a half dB swing. Which is the bottoms and the tops moving. Then I switch back to my good tune. And then I switch to Fat Center Line. And I've got that three dB movement here, maybe less than two and a half up here. The fat fat center line's not too bad. And then uh, freehand spherical is about two and a half dB spread. Back to that's how it sounds when you're clicking. The center's moving right to the middle, and then it moves a bit right to the middle, 